All right, so now we're pretty much ready to start playing Minecraft with the Google Cardboard VR headset. Um, the one setting you might want to look at before we actually start this is in the Into Game Client. If you go down here on your taskbar and click on the Into Game Client, which is this little dot, and go to Settings, um, this head tracking sensitivity and picture quality, these are the two settings that you can adjust for Into Game. Like I said, this is a very simple application and it's great. It's nice and straightforward. Uh, the picture quality is probably the one that you're going to want to adjust. Uh, depending on your network, this could affect uh, like the latency of the image getting from your PC to your smartphone and you want to minimize that as much as you possibly can. Um, Hi, I know on my network, my network is too slow for it. So I'm gonna choose low for now. Um, low will definitely work, and if I find that I could also bump it up to medium, maybe I'll do that after, but low is a pretty surefire bet. Um, head tracking sensitivity seems to work fine for me at just 50. Uh, if, if you notice that your head movements aren't corresponding to um, how you want to look around in the game exactly you can kind of play around with this setting but it works fine for me so click save and that will save those options and then on your phone on your phone you have the app installed now um, so all you're gonna have to do is click play with the settings that I've showed you before and if all goes well, you'll see your desktop on there. Um, and the cooler thing though, is that not only will you see your desktop, but you'll also be able to manipulate the mouse cursor with the tilts of the, the smartphone. So as you can see, my mouse cursor is moving all over my desktop depending on how I tilt this phone. So now that we have that working, we can take this phone, open up the Google Cardboard, place it inside. This takes a little bit of uh, practice to figure out how exactly you know to line up your phone. I put a little marker inside of it to uh, mark where it you know it should go uh, given you know what phone I have. I'm using the iPhone 6 and the headset. Um, and so now let's open up Minecraft. Under edit profile ensure like I had showed before that release and then this is selected for your version save profile and click play and then strap the old Google Cardboard to your head alright and now that you're here Big Minecraft, uh, click this up here to stretch out Minecraft to your whole screen. Uh, oh, looks like my phone shut off. There we go. And now, oh, takes a little bit of adjusting. Uh, you just play around with it. You'll you'll get it to work. Um, and now you just got to go to mo uh, whatever mode that you want Minecraft to be in. So let's say single player. Uh, I'm just going to make a new world. Uh, I guess creative is fine. And once all that loads up, if everything goes well, you should be playing Minecraft in 3D. It's building the terrain right now. And there you go. You'll notice that if you look left and right, and up and down, you can move around. If you click the correct keys, of course. Move around with your mouse cursor, and you can look around a virtual reality environment. So uh, yeah, if all goes well, your Minecraft will be perfectly set up, and you'll be playing Minecraft in a virtual world in no time. Um, if you notice any lag, uh, like really, really noticeable lag, I'm getting a tiny bit here. Consider checking you know, your, your firewall settings, uh, look into your network settings a little bit. This actually looks pretty good for right now, um, but 
Uh, if you're streaming at the lowest picture quality and it's still not ideal, it might not be a bad idea to look in your network settings. But yeah, so if you notice, I can tilt my head up and look up at the sky, tilt my head back down and look around, look around to the left and the right. Yeah, uh, it actually is pretty good and it's pretty one to one. It's not perfect, but um, it's it's pretty close. Um, and I could definitely see myself playing this for a while just like this. And it, it really like immerses you in Minecraft. Um, it's way neater than just staring at a monitor, um, a flat monitor. It really gives you that sense of being able to look around and deciding what direction to go in. And you can like really, I don't know, you can really see this world from, from different angles. So uh, that's pretty much it. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope everything's working for you. Uh, if you have any questions, maybe I can answer them. Uh, pop it in the comments below and I can see what I can do. Uh, and maybe I'll see you online in Minecraft in uh, virtual reality. So uh, see you later.